let's look at another example of integer programming. Western Airlines wants to design a hub system in the United States. Each hub is used for connecting flights to and from cities within 1,000 miles of the hub. Western runs flights among the following cities Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, Denver, Houston, Los Angeles, New Orleans, New York, Pittsburgh, Salt Lake City, San Francisco, and Seattle. The company wants to determine the smallest number of hubs it needs to cover all these cities, where a city is covered if it is within 1,000 miles of at least one hub. Table on the next slide lists which cities are within 1,000 miles of other cities. Let's take a look. This table gives us the data for the western set covering example. For example, let's take a look at Atlanta. Atlanta is covered by itself, of course, Chicago, Houston, New Orleans, New York, and Pittsburgh. All those cities are within 1,000 miles of Atlanta. Next, we are going to formulate an algebraic model for this problem. Let's define our decision variables first. Let hj be either 0 or 1. 0 means that CDJ is not a hub, and 1 means that CDJ is indeed a hub, where j can be Atlanta, Boston, all the way to Seattle. Our objective is to minimize the total number of hubs. The total number of hubs is given by the sum of all those 12 binary variables. That is, H Atlanta plus H Boston plus all the way to H SE or H Seattle. Next, let's look at our constraint. Besides the binary constraints, of course, there's only one main constraint. That is, each city must be covered by at least one hub. Once again, let's use Atlanta as example. This constraint over here guarantees that Atlanta will be covered by at least one hub. Let's take a look why that is the case. We know that there are five cities within 1,000 miles of Atlanta. They are Atlanta itself, Chicago, Houston, New Orleans, New York, and Pittsburgh. And that's what one means over here. It means, oh, this city is indeed within 1,000 miles of Atlanta. And zero means, of course, this city is beyond 1,000 miles of Atlanta. So we have zero for Boston, for Denver, for Los Angeles, and so on and so forth. Out of those five cities that are within 1,000 miles of Atlanta, including Atlanta itself, one of them must be a hub. That is to say, one out of HAT, HCH, H Houston, H New Orleans, H New York, and H Pittsburgh must be equal to 1. If that is true, and we guarantee that the sum will be greater than or equal to 1. That is, the planner will be covered by at least one hub. And we do the same thing for all the other 11 cities, including Boston, Chicago, Denver, Houston, Los Angeles. Of course, on the next slide, we have the constraints for New Orleans, New York, Pittsburgh, Salt Lake City, San Francisco, and Seattle. Next, let's turn to our Excel spreadsheet model. In this template, first of all, let's look at this matrix. This matrix indicates that each city is covered by 
which cities. Once again, Atlanta can be covered by Atlanta itself, Chicago, Houston, New Orleans, New York, and Pittsburgh. And we do the same thing for Boston all the way to Seattle. Next, our decision variable. Which cities to use as hubs? And they are in our cell B21 to M21. If a city will be used as a hub, then its value will be 1, otherwise it will be 0. So those are our binary decision variables. Next, let's look at our constraint. Once again, let's start with Atlanta. Atlanta must be covered by at least one hub. And we know how to deal with that already. We are going to use our old friend sum product. Sum product of row 6 from B6 to M6 and our binary decision variables. Let's use absolute address and this sum product function give us what we saw earlier on our PowerPoint slide. And this is how many hubs can cover Atlanta. And this number must be greater than or equal to 1. Once we have done that, we can easily copy and paste the formula for the remaining 11 cities. Our objective function is pretty easy. It's nothing but the sum of all those 12 binary decision variables. And that gives us the total number of hubs which we would like to minimize. Now let's launch our solver. Our objective is in cell B39. We would like to minimize it by changing those 12 binary decision variables. Let's add constraint. The number of hubs that cover each city got to be greater than or equal to 1. That is required. Next. We would like to make sure all those decision variables are BIM binary. That's it. Click OK. Choose Simplex LP. Take a look at options. Once again, we're going to change integer optimality setting to zero. That way, we can guarantee our optimal solution will be found. OK, let's solve. Keep our solver solution. In the end, this is what we've had. Out of the 12 cities, only three of them will be half. They are Atlanta, Boston, and Salt Lake City. Once we have done that, each of those 12 cities will be covered by at least one hub. For the most cities, they will be covered by exactly one hub, like Atlanta, Boston, Chicago, but New York and Pittsburgh will be covered by two hubs. And three, that's the minimum number of hubs we need to make sure all the cities are covered.